We have a winner in episode seven. Y'all remember, I put the pictures up there and you can see little pieces like a tail feather maybe and all. Well, the answer is, are you ready? Gold signet ring. Matt McPherson was the winner. And I've been in contact with him and I got his information. I'll be mailing you the goodies. The space mask, sticker, and the leather gig master the um, thing that you can use on keychains or whatever. But anyway, I'll be getting that in the mail out to you, Matt. But uh, let's talk about the signet rings just for a minute. First, the one that I showed right here. Here it is. I'll put a picture up there so you can see it a little better. But uh, that was one I found. And best I can tell, it is a 1600. So I have not identified the family crest. Normally they have like a family crest, which I assume this is. I have not been identified. Wish, wish I could. Um... By the design of it and where it was found, I feel like it's definitely 1600s at least. So uh, if anybody's got any idea of that, let me know. But anyway, let's get back to signet rings. Signet rings have been used since uh, 3500 BC. And uh, there's kind of a, um, well, I, I think one of my clues was a sign on the dotted line, right? Well, that's how they used to sign with a signet ring right here. They would put it in a um, wax to seal the envelope. And I've been playing with it, with it right here. Now I'll put a picture up there where I did it, and I just, this is regular wax, and I just pressed the ring in it, and it made it the symbol. It's in reverse, you know, when you press it in, it's actually opposite side. But anyway, it worked pretty good. Um, I, I had never done it before, but you probably use special wax to it on me, but this is just plain old pair from wax. But it did work. It does make a complete impression on it. And they would see this more than a signature. This would be like notarizing something back in the day, and it would be more authenticity that that was that person wrote that or, or sealed it and signed it, sent this letter or whatever back in the day. That's what they used to use as signet rings right here. And a lot of times they would be, um, you know, somebody of higher uh, prominence now would have one of these. Everyday workers would not have them. But somebody that's signing documents and approving things, uh, you know, would have one of these and uh, would do it. This one actually is really small. I don't know if it was for uh, maybe a woman's or whether it was just filling a pinky ring and they just keep it on the pinky just to sign the documents with, you know, and, and authenticity of it with that right there. It's pretty cool, the signet ring. I like it. Solid gold right there, baby. All right, well, that, that wraps up uh, Episode 7, and it's time to move on to Episode 8. And we're going to do a little something different in Episode 8. Instead of using the microscope, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show a picture. I've traveled almost every state in the country, overseas, England, Paris, France, uh, I, I'm all over the place, Germany, um, uh, Estonia, uh, but anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a picture that I have taken in one of my travels, and you got to figure it out where it's at. So we'll do a little something different this time, make it a little fun, and um, it could be anywhere, but let's kind of give it to it, but I'm going I'm to give it enough clues in the picture that you can kind of get an idea, I think somebody will get it, I'm going to give it a little test run this week and see how it works out. And uh, if anybody's got any ideas or something else they want to do for figuring out, let me know. But just trying to keep it fun and exciting and learn something in the meantime. You know, every time I do something, even in the pictures, uh, we'll, we'll have a little educational thing to show, just like we did the signet ring in the past uh, uh, videos where we try to learn something like the, um, the coin. I, I thought that, I really learned a lot when we talking about the, the pennies from the U.S. on the last episode. That, that was amazing just for me to learn it and go through it and how many different variations of what the consistency was and what it made. Pretty interesting stuff. Anyway, let's get going on episode 8. But first, let's go ahead and talk about the rules and regulations of the game right here. Let's check it out. Alright, how does the game figure it out work? What I'm going to do, I'm going to buy a picture and it could be a picture taken with one of my microscopes. It could be a picture that I've taken on one of my travels. Uh, it could be a, just be a picture that I've accumulated somewhere. But what you have to do is have to try to figure it out, either what it is or where it is, and I will let you know in the video which one it is. So, anyway, that's how the game works. And you, your answer must match my answer correctly. Um, just for an example, one of my videos, uh, figure out, I had uh, down. It was um, actually from Daisy's down that I had on my back porch. A lot of y'all saw those videos I had on Daisy. And I was looking for daisies down but duck down was a correct answer what was right but 
daisies down was what I was looking for. That would have been the correct answer, with daisies down. So sometimes I'm looking for a specific thing, and you have to be a, a subscriber to my video maybe to know the correct answer. You would have had to see Daisy in there to know it was daisies down, just dunk down. So anyway, I want the answer to be what I'm looking for there. Uh, only one answer per person, unless after 24 hours or 36, if you see me add another clue in there at the in the uh, comments, then that means nobody's got it, and you can guess again. So, okay. So um, I, uh, just a couple of things. Um, those of you that go out on adventures with me and that hunt with me are not eligible to it because y'all might know what I'm thinking about or know that I just went out and did it, so y'all might have an answer to it. So. Um, let's see, each week y'all know that I'll explain what the answer was, and we'll get a little education out of this. Uh, every week I will explain what the answer was and give some uh, history or background of the item that we talked about. So, uh, that's about it. Um, so, are y'all ready for the next episode? Here it comes. Okay, in this episode, I'm going to show you a picture. And I'll put it in the corner up here. And then we'll, I have a, at the end of the video, I have a full screen picture that you can look at so you kind of get an idea. But you got to tell me where it's located. That, for example, if it's right here in my backyard, it would be Chesapeake, Virginia. So you got to tell me exactly where it's located and what it is. So uh, I'm going to give you a couple clues. One, it's not in Chesapeake, Virginia, and it's not in my backyard. Number two, it's not even in this country. So that's a good clue there. That's all the clues I'm going to give right now because somebody might recognize it right off. And I might have to get a little more harder on the next one. But let's see how it goes on this one. Um, all right, I'm going to put the video, uh, picture up at the end. Figure it out. Put your answer down below. And like I said, if, we, uh, if nobody gets it after 24 hours, I'll put another clue down there. Good luck.